making sure that those who come to kill before and go free will not come again and kill and go free. Yes. Just like I would say that, there's every big energy that must be reconsidered when this game is being played. And one word must be considered. I love I love Simon, Prime Minister Simon Eber so much. He has dropped a statement that will make their friends strong and know where they are, know who they are, know where they are headed. It's a simple word. It's a simple thing. But what you all don't understand is that this game is about to change things. It's about to change notions. It's about to change the world. So just take your time and watch this video. And show me how it is. Before we continue. Making sure that those who come to kill before and go free will not come again and kill and go free. Yes. And like I said, checkpoint in Biafra land remain banned. Those of you who are falling victim today, you have to be very security conscious. What I want to do is to intimidate you, to instill fear in you by continual enforcing disappearance of their friends, abducting you, making video, putting you in a van. That is not going to stop the movement and the where people will go and defend the Biafra land by making sure that those who come to kill them enforce the disappearance of their brothers and neutralize, and they go and start attacking innocent people. Is that the kind of system you want to support? For how long? No. But this has been the modus operandi of those who call themselves military. When people who carry guns attack them, they don't attack those who carry guns. They go to women. They go to uh, you know young girls, young boys of Biafra. And they start mass arrest, and those people they arrest may never come back. Is that the kind of system you want to support? Mm -hmm. Why don't they go after those who come to attack them with God? Mm -hmm. Why don't they look for where they are to go and attack them? Mm -hmm. Because they have gone. Mm -hmm. You go and attack people who, who don't have gone. You go and attack people who have gone. To, is that the kind of system you want to support? If you want to support that kind of system, believe me, that particular system will be your fate. You see, I keep saying it that you cannot bully Simon Eva. Simon Eva is not somebody that you bully. Because I'm still wondering how can men who have gone come and face the Nigerian military, innocent civilians that they will vent their anger on. I keep saying this thing. These people know that Nigeria is not one. They're just forcing us to be one so that they can continue with their illicit business. But the days of reckoning is already coming. And I love the courage which Simon Eba is portraying. We are beer friends. We are beer friends and we are not cowards. We are not scared. There's an adage that an Israelite will say, being at peace is beautiful, but if I must fight for my children to be at peace, I will take it with my whole heart. And this is what we have been fighting for, saying that Saying that we don't want. We are not cowards. We cannot be bullied. We cannot be stopped. We cannot be thrown out. Because this is just the beginning. And what Simon Eber said now has really convinced me that this guy knows what he's doing. Let them go and face. Find them wherever they are. You should go and face them. The government knows what they are hiding. A Nigerian soldier has captured five Biafran army. They've taken down four, and one is still alive to confess where their hideout is. And Governor Oti at the same time has vowed to avenge the soldiers that were brutally eburebu. Now, Abia State, he said, This is the beginning of Wutu Wutu. So, five Biafran soldiers were captured. Now, they weren't captured in their camp or they weren't tracked. These soldiers went to attack another Nigerian 
checkpoint and uh, you know the exchange which from the army and, and then was too strong now hear this i'll keep saying it i do not support any killing of the nigerian military and i do not support any killing of the biafran army but what i will not condone is the Nigerian soldiers hovering Biafran land and bullying Biafrans in the name of forcing Nigeria to be one. You cannot continue to force Nigeria to be one, my guys. You cannot. Everything, everything, everything we have ever wished for, everything that is being considered must be looked into so victory is already achieved and i ask them what sort of things are this we have come a very long way trying to configure trying to figure out what really matters but it's no longer making sense words of freedom businesses are there who is going to be enlightened by this whole misery this is just the beginning every area of our life must feel the impact that we have made but should we mourn the five dear friend army yes for there's an agreement that was signed by them. Remember, you are fighting for your land. You remember, you are fighting for your motherland. If you leave it, these men, these enemies of God, will invade. Seize your wives, seize your girlfriends, take your children, convert them to unknown religion, and your children will start fighting against their fathers. So you must fight to defend. You must fight to stand. You must fight to win this long, long war. You know that Igbo man is stubborn and Fulani is stubborn. Nobody will want to give up. Igbo man is not even ready to give up. It's in our blood. So we are fighting the right enemies and the right enemies are fighting us. Whatever be the case, let people stop dying. Let them stop. Because as we are pushing through this whole gallows, I'm making ourselves more reliable. We would be in the midst of everyone to tell ourselves this very truth.